Hello everyone and welcome to Aries all over the place. I am Erica, also known as Ari. And I think y'all know why I'm here. Today I'm here to discuss Married at First Sight Decision Day. Now at the end of the episode, I swear, and my sister says so too, that they said next week would be the grand finale. However, it aired last night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my review on decision day here and then I'm gonna go and watch the finale and then I will be back on to talk about my views on um, the finale. We're gonna go right ahead and jump right into this review. I'm gonna go in the same order that the show went in as far as the couples that I'll discuss. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with Amelia and Bennett. Okay, so going back to last week when they were showing Amelia talk about how, you know, she just thought it would be fun to be on a reality show and how much she was gonna miss the cameras, making her feel like a movie star. I don't even know why they wasted our time with that to make us feel as though that was gonna even be a thing of conversation because it did not come up one time on this episode. So I feel like that was just a waste. So I'm not even gonna address that anymore. If Bennett is fine with it, I'm fine with it too. This episode just reconfirmed my viewpoint on them being made for each other. The slow-mo videos of Bennett dancing in his dress, oh, excuse me, his nightgown, just showed again their personalities and how they both are just such hippies and belong to one another. I really had no doubt that they were going to decide to stay married, so they both said yes. Bennett surprised Amelia with a tattoo on his hip of her initials. It was quite funny because, you know, he had kind of pulled his pants down a little bit to show off the tattoo, and the doctors were afraid, like, is he really about to take his pants off? But you never know with Bennett and Amelia, so very sweet gesture for him to do that. Of course, like I said, anybody who's been watching the season, you already know Amelia and Bennett are perfect for each other. They fit each other like a glove. So I just wish them well in their new life in Virginia. And I'm so happy that they stay together. Super cute. And yes, best of luck to Amelia and Bennett. All right, so moving on. All right, so next let's talk about Brett and Olivia. First of all, let me say, they both are kind of jerky. Like, it's not just all Brett, it's Olivia too. Trust me, I get her frustration in feeling like Brett is very sarcastic and like just kind of does stuff for shock value or for the cameras. I get that that could be annoying, but there were moments when they were on the couch where I did see a softer side of Brett and he really was trying to have a conversation that they probably should have, could have had earlier to save their marriage but he was trying in a sense and Olivia was just hard she was not letting him in she was not trying to hear anything Brett had to say so that was a little disheartening I did feel like she didn't leave any space for him to be kind I completely agree with the doctors it is very unfortunate that they weren't able to have this type of communication as they were having on the couch sooner because I did feel like they were actually kind of uncovering a lot that had never really seemed to have been uncovered before as far as their issues with one another. So it would have been nice to see them kind of get through that prior to decision day and then maybe they would both have a different decision. I really do think that they had potential but unfortunately things just didn't work out for the two of them. I do believe that they will both find love, they will get married eventually because I don't believe that Brett is as much of a jerk and asshole as he portrayed on this show. I just don't believe it. So again, I wish them both the best in their future and that is it. All right, moving right along. All right, let's talk about Karen and Miles. First of all, let me say they both looked great. Like I said on my last review, Karen in that dress, her hair was popping, makeup was popping, Miles was looking good in that suit. And when he walked through the door, Pastor Kel was like, okay, play up. Like, he was well put together. They both looked very, very nice. <sighs> but you guys, this one is a doozy for me because I did not understand how they both said yes to staying married. First of all, I was so happy that they gave Miles the floor first to give his decision. I was happy that he had that opportunity to speak up for himself and to say, no, this isn't gonna work out. But he didn't, he said yes. Karen also said yes, which 
again, anyone who's been watching this season, you're probably like, what? But here's what I think. I think that neither one of them wanted to fail in this process on national television. I feel like both of their decisions were swayed by ego. As much as Karen says she doesn't like the cameras, I think that this entire decision was played to the cameras because they did not want to say no or appear to have failed on national television. Because there's just, to me, no way that Miles, if he says that he wants what he wants, would be okay with saying that he will spend the rest of his life with Karen, who gave him absolutely nothing. You know, they both had me and all of America surprised with their decision. They both kept talking about how like the past three weeks have been so great between them. But it's like, okay, let's say Corona never happened. Then what? At the eight weeks, where would you have been? Yes, I know it's a different scenario and that's not where you guys were, but you talking about the last three weeks made you say yes, based on everything else that we know and have seen. I don't know, I'm kind of hoping that for the finale, he's now, you know, kind of seeing what other people have said about it, have, have maybe seen other people's opinions on the matter or watch the show for himself to see how it all panned out and maybe his eyes were open to realize that it wasn't the best decision for him, but hey, I mean, the doctors were pleased. They were happy that they both said yes. Maybe they do need a little more time, who knows? I hope that that's the case, but I mean, Miles, you know, you, God helps those who help themselves at this point, you know? So anyways, so they both said yes. Karen was still saying that she, you know, didn't feel comfortable with the cameras and this and that and Miles just kind of comes behind her and protects her in that and and kind of like makes excuses for her excuses by saying well I know she doesn't like the cameras so you know I think once the cameras are gone things will get better like stop it this is a television show on a huge television network girl there's cameras everywhere you knew there were cameras when you signed up stop with stupid excuses that is just dumb to me Kevin Frazier does not hold back when he's talking to couples on these finales. So I really hope that he kind of digs into that and like, you know, makes Karen speak up for herself and, and you know, holds her accountable to her actions and how she did treat Miles throughout this process. I don't know, we will see. Best of luck to the two of them. Yeah, that's it. Moving on. All right, so we've got Henry and Christina. This one's fairly easy because again, everybody who's been watching kind of already knew what their decision was going to be. And both of them said no and decided that they want to get a divorce. Now, let me start with this. Henry is terrible with words. He just is. He's not good with being verbal in his communication and clearly stating exactly what it is that he needs to say. As he was trying to out Christina in sorts, I guess you could say, about the text message situation and her lies and dishonesty. He just kept repeating the same thing over and over again. So he really wasn't saying, just going in circles. And so finally Pastor Cal was like, Henry, what are you saying? Like, just, just tell us what you mean. Like, what is it? So he did call her out as far as you know, the text message and accusing him of being gay and all that type of stuff. And, you know, of course, Christina lied and she cried. That's what she does. She tried to act like she had no idea what he was talking about. And then she just, she, you could visibly see that she was going to try to use her tears as a way to escape the situation in, in hopes that someone would feel sorry for her. But that didn't work out. Um, Henry, like I said, eventually became very boisterous about how he felt about Christina and her doing that. And, that was just pretty much it. They both decided that it was best for them to go their separate ways and that this was not going to work out. And I completely agree. They made the best decision for themselves. Definitely Henry made the best decision for himself because Christina just wasn't it, period. Henry is still absolutely one of my favorites of all of the cast members on here. I still think that he's super hilarious and I really hope that he does find someone who makes him happy and can actually give him what he was looking for throughout this process. So best of luck to Henry and Christina. Girl, take care. All right, so let's save the best for last. Amani and Woody, OMG. Beautiful black love. I cried, I sure did. Woody got me, 
I was over here crying like a little baby. The way Woody spoke so eloquently and honestly about his initial intentions with this process and about his experience with this process was just absolutely amazing. Woody literally has grown up before our eyes. If we were to go back to episode one with Woody to now where we are, you could definitely see a different side of this guy who, like I said all along, I did not believe that he was there to really be married. But man, oh man, he is just really great. And I love it. Dr. Viviana started with the tears and then, you know, Pastor Cal and Dr. Pepper tried to play her like, oh, you're such a punk. And then they started tearing up and crying after Woody started crying. It was, it was just a lot. I was over here weeping, okay? Again, I knew that little soundbite that they played last week of Amali saying, I wanna get a divorce. I knew that that probably was her just joking, which, you know, I don't feel was the appropriate time for a joke because it was such a beautiful moment. I feel like her doing that or testing him like that, I felt kind of took away a little bit of that romance, but just a little bit because you guys, it was just beautiful. And I think Amani and Woody are just beautiful examples of black love. And I'm so happy for them. And I wish them the best. And I really hope that they're still married. And I just can't wait to watch this finale so that I can see what's going on with everybody. At the end of this episode, of course, all of the couples come together to kind of, you know, get to know what happened with everyone on decision day and kind of say their last goodbyes. Brett and Olivia, again, Olivia just would not let it go. Like, she was just poking. I felt like she was poking the bear. And like I said, I still feel like there's some, there's something there between the two of them that I just don't feel like they're completely finished with one another. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they went somewhere to smash, like, right after that. Like, because they just... I don't know, like it's just weird energy. Amani was still trying to, you know, you know, have her girls back and be like, what you mean, what you mean? Like, like girl, y'all just let it go. Get off of Brent's back, leave him alone. It's over, it's done, just let it go. It was really sweet. They decorated Amelia and Bennett's car, you know, for their drive to Virginia as they leave. I just thought that that was super cute and really supportive. I really feel like this has just been a really great cast. Like they seem to have bonded in a way differently than any other uh, seasons that I've seen in the past. I also feel like maybe the pandemic played a role in that because you know, when we all go through things together that are tough, it brings us closer together. So I really do believe that that helped them with their camaraderie amongst one another. And I think it's a beautiful thing. So again, everybody gave their decisions. We're gonna see who's still married, who's not. When we watch this finale and get to the bottom of everything that has played out over this season, I cannot wait to watch and give my opinion on what they have to say. So I'm gonna go do that now and I will be back either tomorrow or the next day here on my channel with my review of the finale. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you know when I upload that video. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about Decision Day. Like this video, share this video, whatever. Let's just keep the conversation going. And yeah, so I will see you guys soon when I upload my review on Married at First Sight, the grand finale. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.